So I found the center at, where did I find the center at? Negative two, zero. And um, my A was five and my B was seven. So my equation should have been X plus two squared divided by 25. Yep. Plus y squared divided by 49 equals 1. Done. Okay. And then my center of my circle was um, 0, negative 1 right there. And a was 7 and b was 2. So my equation should have been x squared over 49 plus y plus 1 squared over 4 equals 1. And um, my next one, I think my center of my circle's here. So my center was, where was my center? 4, that should be a 4, negative 1. And A is 1 and B is 6. So I should have got um, X minus 4 squared plus um, y plus 1 squared over 36 equals 1. Done. Questions? Yeah. I'm still trying to like learn this. Uh -huh. But like, could you explain how you got A and B? Like, yeah, awesome. of course. So A is my distance from my center of my circle. They're both from the center of your circle. A is the distance this way. That's A. And B is my distance this way. So A is my vertical, uh, horizontal distance, and B is my vertical distance. Okay. So I just counted. Okay. Wait. What? Why don't we do the, the Y plus? I don't think I did that. Because I only did like X squared and Y squared. And then over the... Yeah, but that only works if that only works if your the center of your per, uh, your ellipse is zero zero. Oh, so is it? Oh, I'm so slow. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. So now we're gonna move on to the third and final of our conic sections. It's called a hyperbola. 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 Okay. Hyperbola. 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 So um, a hyperbola um, has, a fun, uh, has what's called a fundamental rectangle um, with corners at zero B, zero negative B, A zero, and negative A zero. And the diagonals of this rectangle are the asymptotes of my hyperbola. Does anyone know or not know what an asymptote is? Me. Do you know or not know? I know. An uh, asymptote is a line that is, is a line that a curve approaches as it goes to infinity. Yeah. It's a line that approaches as, it, as the graph goes towards infinity. So it's like this. Right? <laughs> so, so think about, think about... Um, the line, a line approach. Yeah, so let me show you. So see the dotted gray line here? This dot, the two dotted gray lines right here? Here and here? See how they're dotted? Yeah. See this blue line, which is my graph, it's approaching that line as this goes to infinity. It will never cross that line. It just gets super close uh, to it. Does that make sense? It approaches that line as it goes towards infinity. But it will never hit it. It will never hit that line. Correct. Just like when we graphed, um, what's the easiest one to talk about? Um, an exponential function, right? It would approach, like it would approach zero but it would never touch zero, right? right? But that's that would just that was an asymptote. It would approach it but never touch it. Okay? okay? So that's how that works. I didn't do that. 
we did a lot of, with asymptotes last year when we were talking about um, rational functions. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, okay. Okay, so um, the thing about the, um, the uh, rectangles is once again, the distance, this is the center of my um, hyperbolas, right? The center of my hyperbolas is right here in the center where the, the diagonals cross. And here is A again, the distance from my center of my rectangle to the vertex of my hyperbolas. And then here is B. So that's how I find A and B again. Yes. So I can draw that rectangle. If I know what A and B is, I can draw that rectangle. Okay? And then once I draw the rectangle, I know where my, um, as, uh, my asymptotes are because it just goes through the corners of that rectangle and then I can draw my little hyperbolas in. Okay? okay. So we're going we're gonna to do that. But here's the other definition. So the equation of... Sorry, you guys. Equation of a hyperbola. Equation of a hyperbola. Um, the standard form of hyperbola centered at HK is... So the equation looks very similar hyperbola. to an ellipse, right? The difference is this. Instead of a plus, it's a what? It's a minus. So how do I know if it's a, a, per, a hyperbola versus an ellipse? It's a subtract sign if it's a hyperbola. It's a plus sign if it's an ellipse. Okay? Also, one other thing for a hyperbola. It can either open left and right or up and down. And that depends on which comes first. If my x comes first, then it opens um, horizontally. And if my y comes first, then it opens vertically. Okay? I understand that, but I'll just wait until you do it. Yeah. You understand it? Yeah. Okay. And so what does that, what does that mean? So this, this is opening horizontally. So that means the equation for this hyperbola would start with the x squared. The x would be first. Yeah. This one is opening Horizontal. vertically. Oh. So that one would start with the y first. So this is opening, oh, sorry. <laughs> opening horizontally. So it's X. it would start with X first, yep. And this one is opening vertically. vertically. So that means it would be the Y first. See how I can tell? Um, Aya is, look, it's wrapping around the X axis. See, it's kind of going around the X axis. It's cupping the X axis. Think of it that way. And this way it's cupping the Y axis. See how it's cupping the... That's how it's kind of thinking about that, right? Oh, okay. Does that help a little bit? Yeah. Okay. So, and hyperbolas have a minus in the middle, okay? Great. Okay. So, is this... She wasn't even paying attention. Yes, I, I know. Was. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. <sighs> Wait, so like this? So this one And like this. This means y. that is horizontal. Okay. Campbell, can I use one of your highlighters? Okay. She doesn't need it. Okay. If we go on to, um, oh, so sorry. Um, the next one, and it wants me to use the information to write the equation. So it wants me to write the equation. The equation is exactly the same as the ellipse, right? Except instead of a plus sign, it has a minus sign between them, right? And then I have to decide if what's going to come first, the x or the y. The y. And remember, does a go with x or y? X. A goes with x. B goes with 
Why? Okay? Oh, just like in the, what we just did. Correct. Yes. Okay? So I want to try and find this one. I, I, um, for you guys' homework, you will you'll all, you'll should be able to see the X. These first two are, I mean, sorry, the rectangle. These first two are a little harder to see um, because... Um, I don't know where I got them from, so there's no there's no rectangle in here, right? But we, I can I can draw them in here, so it's right here. Whew. How do you know where to stop? Um, so I know that the vertex of the hyperbola is on the rectangle. Does that make sense? So if I go from the vertex of the hyperbola and I go. I go on there up to the asymptotes and stop there and then go over. It'll form a rectangle because the vertex, the asymptotes go through the vertexes of the rectangle. Okay. okay. So that means the center of my center, my center of my hyperbola is located where? The hyperbola. Yeah. Where's the center at? Yeah, where's right negative there at? Negative one, negative two. Uh, negative one, negative two. Very good. <laughs> wow. Right? It's back oh, one and down two. Center. Yeah, the center is where the asymptotes cross. Ooh. Okay? <laughs> center is where the A-S-Y-M-P-T-O-T asymptotes cross. Does that help? And then A is how far I'm going horizontally from my center to my rectangle. So how far is that? How far horizontally am I going from the center of my center of my hyperbolas? Two. Two. Good. And B is my vertical. How distance am I going from my center to my rectangle? It is also two. Yeah. Good. Oh, oh. It's just like the circles we did, right? It's just like the circles, only this is a rectangle, yeah. And that's where I find my A and my B. So now I need to decide which way it's opening. Is it opening horizontally or vertically? <laughs> horizontally. Huh? I just know that it's X. Yeah, so I know that X is going to come first. So now this is the hard part. We, you have to make sure when, when Y comes first that I use the Y value. The y value of my center goes with y, right? And the x value of my center goes with x. x. Good. So I'm going to have x plus 1 squared all over, well, that's easy, 4, minus y plus 2 squared all over, they're both 4, equals 1. Nice that they're both two, right? A distance of two makes it easy. When A and B are the same. Okay. Sorry, I could have made this a little bigger. Okay. Are you ready to try the next one? Mm-hmm. Okay. So on the next one, we're going to do the same thing. Here's, my, here's how I'm going to find my tri rectangle if you can't see it. I'm going to go to the vertex of my hyperbola right here. And I'm just going to draw a line from my asymptotes right through that point. Okay? On both of them. And then connect the ends, and that should be a rectangle. Okay? Not too bad, right? Okay. So zero, zero. So my center is zero, zero. Good. And what is A? A is three. Three, good. And what is B? Three. Two, three. No, four. Two, three, four. Five, <laughs> thank you. Good, it's five. And which way am I opening? Horizontally. Vertically. I can't tell the difference between horizontal and vertical. Okay, look. Vertical, I mean. 
Look, vertical is opening, watch this, it's opening around my x-axis. So here's my x-axis, right? Mm -hmm. It's opening, it's cupping my x-axis. Vertically, look, here's my y-axis, guess what it's doing? Y. It's cupping your y-axis, okay. so that's vertically. Oh. Does that make sense now? Yeah, I keep confusing. Okay. Okay, so now y is first because this is vertically, so this will be y squared. And since there's no, no, it's my center's at zero, I don't have to add or subtract anything. So y squared over 25. B goes with y, right? Oh! Okay, minus x squared over 9 equals 1. Remember, B goes with Y and A goes with X. A. <laughs> Wait, why is it minus? Because for a hyperbola, it's always minus. The plus oh, is for an ellipse. Okay. So I tell the difference between an ellipse and a hyperbola. Is ellipse is plus, um, hyperbola is minus. Oh, gosh. Okay? Okay. So now you guys are going to try... The, the, the rectangles are a little more visible here because it's a little better graph. But I went, oh, come on, not that big. There we go. Okay, try that. So um, here's my uh, rectangle. You can kind of see it in here. It's right here, right? It's just kind of faint, but you can see it. And so here's my center. My center is at zero, zero. A is three, B is three, and it's opening horizontally. I'm just gonna start abbreviating everything. Um, so I've got X squared over three minus Y squared over three equals one. No. Yes. Nine. Oh, it should be nine. Yeah, I was about to say, wait, why is it still three? Thank I'm you. Like, um, extra credit. Yeah, not. <laughs> nine. <laughs> um, for B, I have nine on my paper, too. I don't know why I wrote three. Damn. I do know, because I got, like, two hours of sleep last night. What were you doing up last oh, night? I was actually watching a, a TV show sure. and then um, reading. What did you watch? Probably Cupcake. And the Voice was on. Oh, I recorded The Voice, so I watched that. And um, <laughs> and then Psyche. Psyche. So oh. strange. That would explain a lot. <laughs> so it's opening vertically. So this is y squared over 4, x squared over 4 equals 1. Wow, Al has his mask on. Wow, and Mia's been quiet the whole class. No, she hasn't. <laughs> You're just that hard. <laughs> My center is, where is my center? Uh, my center is one, two, and A is two, and B is one. So, and it's opening vertically, so Y goes first. So I've got Y minus two over one squared. I guess I didn't have to put that, but over one squared. Oh, that should be squared also. Minus x minus 1 squared over 4 equals 1. Okay. Any questions? Are we doing okay? You guys getting it? Not too bad, right? And the last one, D here. Oh, my land to stop. My center is at 0, negative 1, A is 5, B is 4, and it's opening horizontally. Beautiful. 
So I've got um, x squared over 25 minus x plus, oh, y. Woo. I'm just going to erase that and rewrite it. y plus 1 squared over 16 equals 1. Question. Not too bad? Are we okay? All right. I think the worst part is remembering that B and Y go together and that Y goes first when it's vertically. I know. Okay, so now we're going to go, now we've, we've graphed them. Now we want, I mean, sorry, we've pulled the equation from a graph. Now we want to actually graph them, right? So now we're going to pull the information from the equation and graph it. All right, so um, let's see, vertices of each. I don't think I uh, sketched the graph, including asymptotes, and fundamental rectangle. Okay, so where's the center of my circle? Zero, zero. A is three, B is five. So it's not the center of my circle, right? It's the center of my rectangle. So it's zero, zero, and I'm gonna go Two, three, three, and then five and five. So I'm going to have a rectangle in here. Four, five, two, three. So I have a rectangle in here. And then um, this is going to be the hard part for me. Uh, my asymptotes go through the corners of my rectangle like this. You can try and draw a straight line. It's not too bad, hey. Okay, and then it's opening, because X is first, it's opening horizontally. So that means right in the middle of my box, right, is where the vertex of my, um, hyperbola is on each side and then it just goes and if it's wider it just kind of goes out like this and it goes like this and that's it that's your hyperbola Woo what's the other thing called an ellipse an ellipse you mean the flattened the ovals yeah they're called ellipses mm -hmm. and that's it that's it? That's it. I did it. That's how you graph those. Draw the rectangle. Again? Shall we? Yeah. Great. Okay, two is a little harder because, look, my equation's not in ellipse form, but what can I do to get it in ellipse form? Uh, sorry, hyperbola form. Whichever form I need it to be in. Conic form, standard form. Did you say ellipse? Ellipse, yeah. What, it's not going to be an ellipse because it's got a minus sign in it. But what am I going to do? Add 25? Nope. Minus 100. Nope. Divide by 100 because it has to equal what? One. 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 So I'm going to divide by 100. One. Divide by 100, Okay. So I get y squared over 100 minus x squared over 4 equals 1. So my center is at 0, 0. A, what is A? A is 5. A is 2. Why is A 2? Because X goes with A. A is with X. So I need to find the X. And then does that mean, oh, are you okay with that? Okay. So A is 2. What is B? 10. Beautifully. Okay. And is it going to open horizontally or vertically? Vertically. vertically. And it's open vertically because the Y is first. Yeah. So now we're going to go to and graph this sucker. So I've got zero, zero here, <laughs> two, 
And I don't quite have 10 on my graph here, so we're just gonna assume that it's like out here somewhere. So, I should have changed the scale of my graph. Let's change the scale of my graph because this is not going to work for me. Okay, so let's change this to, this is four, this is six, two, four, six, sorry, that's eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, uh, four, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 16, yeah, four, eight, 12, 16, okay. I'm just counting by twos because it's gonna be easier because my graph is gonna open up vertically. I just want it to be on my graph. So I'm two out, two, four, six, eight, 10, two, four, six, eight, 10. Ooh. I can't even draw a straight line if my straight line is given to me. That's pretty bad. So my asymptotes. Beautiful. Sorta. Okay. And then here's, since it's opening vertically, it's in the middle here. And it's just going to open like this. There we go. Is everyone okay with that? <coughs> Questions? Oh yeah, it's going that way. Yes, yeah, so that's why I decided to change my scale because it wasn't gonna fit very well. Okay. So any questions at home? Are you guys okay with this? Okay. Um, okay, good. We have two more examples here. Where is the center of my circle at? One, negative one. What is A, what is B, and which way is it opening? Horizontally. Horizontally, great. <laughs> it's L. I literally was just sitting here. You're being disrupted. Okay, there's my asymptotes, my rectangle drawn in, and then it's opening um, horizontally. So here's my vertex of my hyperbolas. So there you go. Questions? One more. Whew. That was rough. <laughs> what was that? Easy. Not too bad, right? Yeah, I said, why can't I draw straight lines? I can't draw a straight line either, so. <laughs> Even with lines there to help, me guide, help guide me, I still can't draw a straight line, so. 
And then the last one, oh, looky, that's so nice. A and B are the same. I'll have to guess which one's which. So what is the center of my circle? Negative one, positive two. Incorrect. Two negative one. Two negative one. Good job, Lisa. Remember, X is always with the X and Y is with the Y, right? What is A? Two. What is B? Two. Which way is it opening? Horizontal. Vertical. Which one's right? Vertical. Vertical is correct. Okay, so two negative one. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And it's opening vertically. Is that what we decided? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. Questions? Yeah. What? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> awesome. Okay, you have four questions. Go. No, because they didn't have this on Delta Math either. Okay. She's so excited. Graduate this year. I feel so old. <sighs> 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 Sit down, Nia. That's not your turn. What's this? <laughs> it's for you. Do your homework. This is the homework. Yeah. <laughs> The wrong homework. Yesterday's homework. The wrong one. That's what she just said. Yes. Should I have been Anybody have any questions? One's the asymptote. Yeah, they just look. And because the, the graph is almost flat, that's why. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm lost. Okay. That's why I was lost. You're good now. Wait, so the last checkpoint right now is just 6.8, right? Yeah. Let me see. Oh, 
No. No, of course she's not. 